Aerial Yogis, I'm Camille and welcome back to my Camille Yogi Aerial Yoga channel. Today's class will be targeting a pelvis area and hips, so more of those hip openers for the hip flexors, the inner, inner hips and outer hips with the abductors, uh, as well as stretching out through the uh, quads, glutes, uh, engaging and opening more of the chest, So, but basically more on the hip area to improve that flexibility and mobility uh, in the hip area. Uh, so this would be a short flow through the poses that would be focusing especially for the hips. So let's get started. Let's meet in a silk. Okay, so now as you're standing by your silk, just check that the silk would be hips height by the hip bones, those top bones and that you are standing in between the silk under the plumb line and then just lean into the silk into the chair pose where we will do a short warm-up just to get started so the silk is under your rib cage under your shoulder blades uh, release your hips your pelvis down uh, arms forearms against the silk and let's do some cat cows so I will turn to the side so that you would see it more clearly. Inhaling and arching back with your tailbone reaching back and looking up to the ceiling. Exhaling and rounding your back, looking to your belly and squeeze your glutes and your core in. Inhaling, opening, arching and opening your chest a little bit, even pressing the silk forward. Exhaling and again, squeezing into the little ball. Inhaling, opening up, wide open through the collarbones, your neck. Exhale and neck curled in. One more time, inhaling, arching back. Exhaling and closing in. And from here on, come back to the neutral chair position. Just grab the sides of the silk as we continue on to the goddess pose. So open your legs wide into the sides. Now, what is very important in here that you would check that your knee, middle of a knee or kneecap will go together with the middle of your foot, so with the middle toe in line. That your knees won't go inside while the feet coming to the outside, which is very not good for your knees. So try to keep in line together as a wall <laughs> and opening actively through. So lead your knees opening not relaxing opening encouraging the work for your inner thighs those adductors and the hip flexors so arms against the silk relaxed at this time and start moving from the heel from to the heel from foot to foot uh, and uh, when you're extending one of the leg feet flexed and as if imagine you're pressing the whole thigh down then you feel the inner thigh stretch Inhaling, exhaling to the other side and keep opening through the hips, through the knees, leading to the sides, wide open. But everything is a little bit with resistance to the sides. So just a little bit more, you can encourage more uh, motion and movement dynamically. Just feel that openness through the pelvis, through the hips to warming up. Okay, and let's stay in the middle. Just grab the sides again, more firmly. Inhaling, exhaling, jumping back and meeting in the middle. Just make sure your silk is always under your shoulder blades, that it won't squeeze your armpits. Now let's continue with the first more hip opener, which is figure four. Inhaling, lift your right leg up, bend your knee. Exhale and put your leg across onto the left thigh. Now the foot, the right foot is flexed and uh, uh, it's like in a 90 degree angle for the ankle, but just again to keep stabilizing your knee. Now if you don't feel any stretch for your right hip in here for the outer side or the glutes, the buttocks area, then press down the knee and then it should increase more of that sensation in, uh, in stretch. And if that's still not the case, if you still don't feel anything, then pull your pelvis not only down, but a little bit backwards. So from here, a little bit down and be 
reaching behind. And from here, let's add up a little bit swinging motion forward, backwards while pressing the knee down as well as the pelvis. Just awakening hip joints. Keep breathing deeply. Just a few more moments. And let's meet in neutral position. Okay, so now release your right leg down. And now we will do a short transition to the chair, swinging chair pose and from it to the standing lunge. So now grab the sides, lean back, and uh, turn a little bit through your waistline to the left side. Now I will show you uh, faster that you would get where we need to go. We will jump, put the legs across, and then we turn into the chair pose, a swinging chair or seated swing into here. So now let's try it together. Okay, so now let's go step by step again. So both of your legs will go up and cross over through your right side of the silk. We turn over so your pelvis will end up just hanging off the ground. So hold the silk, lean back again a little bit to the left side. You're pressing the right arm away a little bit from you. Jump up and try to at least one leg to cross over. Then the other one leg is following you. So a little bit into this hanging position. If you're still a little bit struggling in this, I will turn away from you that it would be more clearly for you. So um, now as you are, so to the right side, we're leaning first to the left with our upper body, pressing right arm away, but we will create more space for the legs and jumping up and crossing over both legs. So you should end up into this position. Don't worry if you won't get it. You can always can come up into simple way into the lunge. But if you're already into the chair, you will take now with your left hand opposite side of the silk, slide down, sit up and there's your seated swing. So just wait a little bit in here. I will again come back to facing you start. And now you probably are away from me unless you are swinged around uh, to just stay there. And I'm coming uh, with you together. So as we are into the seated swing, now just if you can't see me, just listen to me or just turn your head to check your video. So just lean back, slide down, and let's take our left leg out of the silk. And then you can turn to the side, that you could see more clearly what's happening, as I also turn to the side. So we're entering this high lunge. So inhale here, and exhale, go on your tiptoes on our back leg. Back leg is strong, extended through, while the left hip is turned inwards as if you still want to draw both of your legs together hold your core arms just uh, somewhere around your shoulder height so not too high relax your shoulders and first let's go dynamically so inhale here exhale and bring your weight forward inhaling coming back on your heel exhale again on your tiptoes and push forward inhaling coming back exhale inhaling so just a little bit pressing and stretching through the hip flexors the inner thighs the inner hip area each time deeper and deeper so a few more and last one let's hold okay so hold here don't release all the way, still the hip is inwards. Back leg is strong and straight. Activate your quads. And now let's add more of a core workout again, to more balance while we're strengthening, actively strengthening in the stretch, the inner hip muscles. So inhaling and reaching your arms over your head. Keep breathing, focusing on one point, on one spot, that it would be easier. 
And if you want more challenge while balancing, you can also add shoulder stretch by interlacing your fingers and opening your chest up, looking up to the ceiling while shoulder blades draw together. And just a few more breaths. Last breath in. And breathing out, take your silk. Bring back the weight to the heel. And let's turn the feet 40 foot 45 degrees angle. So not all the way to the side, a little bit inwards. Just again to keep the knee safe as we entering warrior two. So inhaling, reach your arms up. Exhale, open through your shoulders and press away from your bottom leg forward. So opening widely through your hips. Engage your glutes, buttocks. Everything is active and uh, tilt your uh, tailbone under. Keep your core active. Look forward to your right arm, or right hand. Feel the space around the neck, the shoulders. Everything is broadened and opening. And if you want more of the stretch and opening for the hips, just a little bit press more forward. And keep your knee uh, going away from a silk, a little bit of resistance into a silk. And two more breaths. Last breath in. Breathing out. And let's take the silk, come back and turn your foot again forward. And let's stretch even more through the hips into the outer hip through the half butterfly. So put your feet, foot into the silk. And silk is narrow just in the middle of the foot across. Now just check that your knee would be in 90 degree more or less, that it will, your foot wouldn't be just by your thigh. So this is not half lotus. Uh, so there's a space between the heel and the opposite leg. And foot, of course, flexed again to stabilize the knee joint so you should uh, it, the leg should look like a z shape if you look at it everywhere through the ankle and through the knee 90 degree and let's first again move dynamically so inhaling and exhaling a little bit shifting forward inhaling coming back this time the bottom leg is always on the ground rooted so this movement is not as big uh, the motion is very small Imagine even more that you're not going as much as forward, as much as you're pressing down your pelvis towards the mat. And then here you should feel that stretch more through the outer uh, right hip, through the, through the glutes, perhaps even through the thigh. Each body is different, so a little bit different and sensations and intensity. Just keep your shoulders relaxed, neck is long, if you want more of a challenge, you can always just release your silk. So more balancing, engaging more of the rooted leg. And just a few more times, pressing into the silk. And come back to the neutral position. When in here, we will start to hold the position by folding forward. So inhaling and exhale, nose going slowly towards your foot towards your toes hands are sliding down and relax your shoulders your elbows and at the lowest point as it is available now at this day uh, stay in here just keep on breathing if you want more of the stretch then press more your right knee down with the whole hip you should feel that more sensation and density. Uh, if you want more balance, again, you can just release your arms down and keep breathing. So this half butterfly is a great preparation for the full butterfly that we will soon do. Two more breaths. last one and a breath in coming up and exhaling extend your leg 
and now draw a half circle all the way behind you and the silk should slide onto your ankle behind now we will go to the low lunge so inhaling here exhale just lower your arms down jump with your left leg forward in between your palms if you can't reach your ground then perhaps the yoga blocks will be useful to put under your palms or push away more from your fingertips to lift up so the front knee is 90 degree angle just stacked over the heel the back legs back leg is pressing through the heel reaching back extend your knee as much as you can and let's a little bit uh, shift forward and backward just again opening through the hip crease the hip flexors and keep pressing your pelvis down as much as you can by holding still the back leg straight neck is long so don't collapse all the way through the upper body last breath in and breathing out just bend your knee by your wrist into a half pigeon relax your back knee but foot is flexed just to keep it hooked and release your arms all the way on your elbows relax your forearm on your wrist or whichever way it's more comfortable for you into this passive pigeon just keep on breathing while we stretch out and open the front knee hip so front leg hip which is your left while the back leg which is hanging just feel the opening through again the front side of the right hip pelvis area two more breaths last breath in breathing out and inhaling lift your head up press away from your hands and step up with your left leg bringing your right knee to the front through the slightly bent knee let's come up all the way reaching your arms over your head and exhale arms by our sides release your back leg and let's lean back again into the chair pose when the silk is behind your ribs by the shoulder blades and let's move from the other side so figure, first of all figure four inhale bring your lift your left knee and exhale put it across so the heel the left heel is over the right thigh and foot is flexed keep pressing through the left knee down if you have more sensation pelvis is also uh, drawn down and a little bit backwards arms relaxed and let's add that swinging motion forth and back while pressing the knee down feeling the outer slightly less intense than the half butterfly outer hip opening just feel elongation through the spine few more breaths last breath in breathing out and coming in the middle and inhaling lifting your knee up exhale all the way down and that transition so now just make sure your silk is under your shoulder blades perhaps it's light up so just pull it down and now transition to the seated swing and from the seated swing to the lunge but first of all just let's do that first part to the seated swing so a few more uh, times slowly so now we are turning more to the right side with the upper body pressing the left side of the silk with the left hand and now just more leaning back into the silk lifting and crossing your both legs over now uh, just grabbing the with the right hand left side of the silk and crossing over the left hand opposite side and just sliding into the seated swing just one more time from your perspective as you are looking to the video so you are here in a chair pose and now we handing with the upper body to the right side pressing with the left hand vessel jumping crossing 
And now opposite hands taking the silk. So the right, left, and right hand is left side. And sliding up to the seated position. Okay, so I'm coming back as I was before. I'm here. And crossing over. Seated swing. From seated swing, sliding down up to your knees. And take out your right leg off the silk with the left thigh left into the silk. So just spread it a little bit wider that it won't squeeze as much. And uh, the upper leg, upper foot, point or flexed, just active whichever pose you will choose. And let's do, first of all, just weight shifts with the, through the hip opening, through the inner, inner side of the hip. So exhaling and going on your tiptoes, leg is strong, just pressing forward. Inhaling, coming back all the way to the heel. Exhaling again, opening through, stretching not only through the, through the inner thigh, the quadriceps, as well as hip flexors, that inner uh, hip crease. So breathing out forward and breathing in backward. Just find your middle to, to make it easier to balance. So exhale and inhale coming back a few more just keep note of your hip hip is inwards squared with the other hip in line okay now let's hold the pose so exhaling and keep shifting keep hold that high lunge with the back legs extended and strong and press down through the balls of the foot up while pressing a little bit forward but not all the way we're not releasing the hips imagine that your thighs are drawn together and they're trying to touch each other hold your core so the rib cage is inwards elongate your spine as we are now might add that extra challenge by balancing arms along your ears not holding the silk focus on one point and feel the engagement for the lower body breath is slow long and deep and if you want more intensity with the extra shoulder opening and the chest so uh, interlace your fingers behind your back and lift your chest up look up to the ceiling while drawing your palms behind you and down breathing just a bit more hold your core last breath in and breathing out take the silk and release i feel already my cords burning okay so now warrior two just open up your bottom leg 45 degrees so more inwards than out inhale reach up exhale open through the sides and through the hips engage your glutes core everything is in while elongating through the spine stretching through shoulders relaxed and look to your front palm which is your left keep breathing opening through the hips through the shoulders just a bit more last breath in and breathing out coming all the way to the back leg and turn again your foot forward as we arrive to half butterfly so outer hip opening and put your foot into the silk silk is narrow and turn your knee down so once again just check through that your knee would be 90 degree and ankle active so we leaving our foot flexed with the toes towards the knee as you see there is space between my heel and the thigh so don't draw draw it all the way we don't want to lock our knee we want more space to target especially the hip this in this case we're targeting the left side so inhale and exhale just a little bit as if we pressing our pelvis towards the leg inhaling coming back 
and relax your shoulders neck is long so the upper body is more or less relaxed the whole power is coming from the bottom body if you want you can relax your arms just adding up a little bit again more of the balance so work out for the lower body uh, lower leg the rooted leg few more okay and let's hold on to the silk this time let's leave a weight onto the right leg and let's fold forward so inhaling and exhaling lean towards your uh, hooked leg which is your left nose towards your toes relax your shoulders your elbows if you want you can release your arms if you want more of the stretch more intensity just press your knee all the way towards the ground just keep on breathing to release physical tensions as well as mental just breathing out everything what is needed few more breaths and then hold on to the silk and inhale come up and exhale extend your leg draw half circle behind your back so the silk should slide just over your ankle and hooked and let's lower down into the lower lunge so just jump forward with the, um, the right leg in between your palms check that the knee would be stacked over the heel and the back leg extended through the heel backwards reaching through the heel and then a little bit just shifting forward backwards to open up again through the inner hips especially of the back leg that that inner thigh and hip flexor elongate your spine your neck while pressing and drawing your pelvis towards the mat towards the floor okay and that's enough let's continue with that pigeon so just bend your knee close to your wrists so this time just the foot to the opposite side and bend your back leg relax your arms relax your head just keep on breathing more passively opening the hips few more breaths last breath in breathing out and breathing in coming up all the way and press up through your hands to step up with your right leg bring back your left knee towards the front and through the slightly bent knee let's come up all the way hands over the head and exhale down release your leg and now let's go as we prepare deeply our hips for the full butterfly and also adding up inverted butterfly so just again bringing your uh, right foot into the silk and open the hip as we did into the half butterfly this time arms over your head just lean into the silk and bring also your left foot to the right so both soles of the feet together pressing knees behind the silk and then draw one your elbows forward and that the silk will end up behind the shoulder the same with the other arm so both elbows in front silk behind the shoulders behind your deltoids the upper arms as we entered that butterfly 
Now let's continue with the flying butterfly. So in here we a little bit adding the arch through the lower back. So tailbone leading back, chest forward, neck long. You can stay here or if you feel comfortable then you can release perhaps one or both arms as the wings spreading out <laughs> in here or behind interlace fingers behind your back whichever you feel today is working for you so just a few more breaths opening from the front while opening and the hips last breath in and breathing out, take the silk just under your armpits. So make sure that you're not holding somewhere by the hips as they, your hands might get stuck. So hold the silk just by your chest, by the rib cage, as you see from the inside, not front, inside. And let's lean forward. Don't be afraid, the silk is holding you. Just uh, be aware if you never did this. Uh, the silk mat a little bit squeeze through your ankles. If it's too much, just uh, be aware of it and perhaps come out of the silk. If it's okay, let's lean forward. Just press away the silk from your hip bones. Relax your head. Eventually relax your arms. Just feel elongation through your spine, through the lower back, especially relaxing everything while opening passively the hips. If you want, you can put your arms, hands into Anjali Mudra, palm to palm, prayer mudra. Just opening more of the shoulder line. A few more breaths. And now let's come back. So make sure now that you, the same as we entered, we're exiting the position in the same way by holding it, the silk with the thumbs in, four fingers out bending elbows outwards not inwards if you're still struggling to come up look to your belly round your back and then pull yourself up then one by one hands over your head lean back extend your legs and step down and the last position that we will do today for the hips will be inverted pigeon king pigeon so let's spread out the silk and cross over through it forward and grab the other edge of the silk let's bend it in half just that our backs would be safe and not so much compression through the back so both edges together let's sit in now remember the silk is just under your buttocks so up to the thighs not across them as you're sitting in here Grab the sides again as low as you can, so just by the hips and through the whole side. Lean back, open your legs wide and wrap around. If uh, you're still a little bit uncomfortable, you can wrap your feet or if it's fine, you can put your soles together. Relax your arms just for a moment to feel the elongation of the spine through the back. Let's drop down. Everything is just loosely hanging. Okay, so let's continue with the pigeon pose first with the passive variation. And if you want it more, we'll continue with the active. So first of all, wrap around with your feet just for the safety. And let's unwrap the right leg of the silk and draw a half circle in behind the back. Release your foot, your leg behind into this passive pigeon. If you want, you can stay here. So if you want more intensity, uh, so let's continue with that king pigeon by taking right foot with the right hand or both hands, just whichever is working for you today. Just listen to your body. So if you're holding your foot into this active pigeon, then pull away with your leg from the back. Engage your glutes, engage your lower back to keep it safe, keep your vertebra stable and safe as we are arching quite a lot so keep pressing the whole lower body is active while opening passively the front of the body the upper body for the chest for the collarbones shoulders just feel the space 
Keep breathing. A few more breaths. Last breath in. And breathe out. Relax your arms. Come back all the way to the front and wrap around. And let's continue with the other leg. So left leg out of the silk and drawing half circle behind. If you've been in a passive pigeon, stay in here. If you've been doing the active pigeon, the king pigeon, then let's continue by taking the back leg with the same hand or both. Just that both sides would be the same. And pull away. Engage your lower body, especially the pelvis area is active and strong. So for the hips, the right hip, we're opening from the out, outer side. While the leg that we are holding now, or just loosely hanging into passive pigeon, we're opening for the inner hip. So both, both sides of the hip is stretching and getting stronger, more mobility in that area. Just keep breathing. A few more breaths. Last breath in. And breathing out, release your arms and come back with the back leg to the front, wrapping around and let's round up into child's pose. So look up to your belly, grab the sides of the silk in between your calf and thigh, unwrap your legs and slowly coming up and all the way down to the regular child's pose on the mat, rounding the whole lower back that we arch so much to relax your hips, pelvis area, and as well as balancing all the blood pressure harmonizing it really release your shoulders your elbows feel the breath how you're breathing in and feel the expansion through the back while the belly pressing into the thighs creating a little bit of pressure through the internal organs massaging them few more breaths. And then with breath in, come up. And in here, if you want, you can finish this uh, class, this practice with a Shavasana, just relaxation pose, simply by perhaps sitting into the silk and laying down or you can check out how to get through the flip into the silk there's a video above my head so just jumping in and just relaxing here so for a few moments releasing everything and balancing through in one line through the body Feel the body releasing into the silk, into the space. In that way, in this deep relaxation, we recharging, rejuvenating. Breathe out. Everything what is unneeded, that doesn't serve you. Maybe some thoughts, maybe some tensions, or a little bit of a stress. Breathe out everything. And breathing this new energy. Breathing in everything that is uplifting you. 
makes it stronger. If you want, you can stay here longer. Uh, if not, then we will reach our arms over your head and stretch from side to side. And grab the sides and take your legs out. Come up. And this is the end of our today's class. A flow through the hips to increase flexibility and mobility in the pelvis area. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, share your experience down below in the comments. I always love to read them and feel more connected with you guys. And uh, if you have other suggestions for the other classes, please share that too down below. All the other information, how to follow me on my aerial yoga journey or to know more about my studio or about the silks that I have here and maybe you want one too. Uh, you can check out again in description and as always just subscribe push the notification button just to be the first one to know about my classes and share it if you know that some of your people or your friends might uh, think that it would be also useful for them so other than that i see you in the next flying class bye namaste